What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Y'all good? Happy Saturday. Turn up. It's turn up. It's a new month. We here. We made it. You know, you got the virus. You got over it. You didn't get the virus. You don't want it. You still here. You living, sis. Turn up. 2020 is just beginning. I'm excited about this haul, y'all, because, you know, I'm basic and I got to stick to my basicness. I haven't been on a makeup spree in a long, long time, so I feel like I deserve to do this. You know what I'm saying? So I was on a central run. I went and stopped by the makeup aisle. Girl, I don't know how I got over the, the hell did I end up, how did I end up in the makeup aisle? I hear a lot of things about this Elf Foundation, and you know what, sis? They $6. They $6. The foundation is $6. Yes, girl. Girl. Six. These are the foundations that are $6, honey. And I'm so happy because they finally thought about me. They thought about us chocolate girls, girl. They thought about us for once. So these are the satin finish oil-free foundations. They're $6 a jar. And I think that's a really, really good price. I mean, I feel like they may be cheaper somewhere else because Target's always more expensive than other places. So I don't think you would pay more than, I would say $6 for these. They may be cheaper in other areas. So the two colors I got is Nutmeg and I got Cocoa. So Cocoa is considered deep with neutral undertones, which is my color. I'm always deep with neutral undertones. Here's my hand. Here's the swatch. So as you can see, it reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Fit Me. This reminds me a whole lot of coconut, y'all. So that's why I like, oh my God, I had to try it. Other shade I purchased in Nutmeg, and you can see Nutmeg is slightly darker. It's a little bit warmer than Cocoa. So I can use these together easily. And Nutmeg is considered deep with peachy undertones. Now, I don't think I have peachy undertones. However, I did try to shade out on my face when I first bought it in the car. And I said, okay, I said that's more warm. So I feel like they should have used the term maybe red or warm versus peachy because I don't know if black folks are peachy. So I also picked up this. I was in a makeup group and the makeup group was like, oh girl, please try this Elf um, pomade they had. So I bought it, I picked it up, it was $3, that's it. This is what it looks like. I got Espresso because that was the darkest shade they had available. I'm not sure they have anyone, any more that's darker than this, but I feel like I could work with Espresso. And it's just a pomade, it comes in this little jar like this. Here's a container, looks like this. And pomade. So I'll be using this in the tutorial as well. Take a look at that. The thing I bought was this brush. This is the Elf Concealer Brush. I didn't purchase this brush to use as a concealer brush. I purchased it for my eyeshadow. Because I have such small eye space, I need like really tall, I need really small brushes to do my makeup and stuff like that. So I need all the tiny brushes I can find. When I usually find them, I just buy a couple of them because I use them for multiple different things. I also purchased this small smudge brush for the same reason, just for my eyeshadow. Not using it specifically to smudge eyeshadow on my face, but I just need tiny brushes. So if you have little eyes like me, these are some great brushes to use to put on your eyeshadow. Maybe you're cutting your crease or something like that. These are really, really good brushes. I got this right here. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder sets makeup and creates a soft focus blur finish in deep. I come on Elf. This can't be the deepest y'all could go. It was the deepest shade they had, so I bought it. But it really made me mad when these makeup companies act like this is deep is just all of us. Like we all type of chocolates around here. You need to go deeper than this. You really do. This is the packaging. I must say Elf really stood up their packaging. This packaging is everything. So this was $8 from Target. Shook it around a little bit. So this is what it looks like. Oh, this is pretty girl. Let's see what it looks like. What it's talking about though. Let's swipe it a little bit. Oh. She look ashy. She look ashy. But we gonna play with her and see what happens. It's supposed to be a little glow though. I don't know about this, Elf. I don't know about this. Oh. So this is very much ashy. This is supposed to be a satin powder. Satin powder. Mmm. Mmm. So we gonna set this one to the side because I don't know what they said with that. Maybe I'll use that as a highlight. We gonna see though. What I'm really excited for about this haul is this concealer. 
So Elf have these concealers they had released. I don't know how long ago because I've been a little behind in the makeup world. These are the concealers. They're 16 hour wear. It's called Camo Concealer. Matte full coverage finish. And I got two colors. So when I do this tutorial, I'll be using a concealer to actually conceal these bags under my eyes, okay? And then we're gonna use one for highlighting. I broke the top of it because I was so excited when I got to the car, y'all. I want to try this so bad. So this is rich chocolate because I'm chocolate. So I bought this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put rich chocolate about right here. Look at that. Oh, it's so creamy. Now this is a concealer I like. I don't know what Julia Place has going on, but see how rich and creamy this applied to my hand? This is the kind of concealer I be talking about. This is what I like. And I actually put this on my face in the car when I bought it, and it matched really, really good. So I'm so excited about this. The color I bought the highlight with, this one's called Rich Chestnut. So I'm gonna use this to highlight my face. I'm gonna put Rich Chestnut about right here. Boom, look at that! This color reminds me so much of Fawn by LA Girl, don't it girl? It looks just like LA Girl's Fawn, and I love Fawn. So, I think we got a winners with these concealers. Oh, I can wrap too. Oh, I forgot about one brush. I bought this brush because my other one is just real bootleg, keep falling apart. So, I got this for my eyebrows. As you can see, the other one I use in my other tutorials, girl, it is done for it. Oh, system broke. See, see what I'm talking about? She done, we finna throw her away. So, I bought another one. Since I'm on this F train, I wanted to try to stick with the same products. You know, I don't like really mixing too many products. So I got their Poreless Face Primer. This was $5, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. They have the regular size primer, just like this, at the store for $6. But please pay attention to the ounces. Yes, I'm that cheap. I look at the fluid ounces versus the price. This one is 51 fluid ounces, 0 0.51 fluid ounces for $5. And they consider this a travel size portion. The regular size jar, y'all, is $6. And it was like 47, 0 0.47 fluid ounces. They tried it, so make sure you pay attention to that. If you see this, look for the travel size because it's cheaper and you get more fluid ounces for product. I'll put it right here. Okay, it's real smooth. So like I said, this is just, oh, oh, this smells like tea tree oil. What's in this? Girls infused with tea tree oil and vitamin A and E. I didn't even pay attention to that. I think I read tea tree oil, but I wasn't expecting it to actually smell like it. So, oh, this smells like some straight tea tree oil. That is different. So yeah, if you have a thing with tea tree oil, you may not like this because this Really caught me off guard, so I'm excited to try this out in the video to see how I actually like it. What about this lip color from Elf? This was so pretty. I just been running low on some lip colors. I think I threw all of my lip colors away, or they just walking off of somebody. Because I used to have some bomb ass pink lips, and I can't find none of them. So I went and bought this one from Elf. I think this one was four dollars. How much was this lip makeup? Six dollars. So yeah, this was six dollars. Gonna put that right here. Oh, look at that. And it's so matte. Also, stop in the NYX section. Don't worry, I spray all my stuff down for I brought to the house. For all y'all German folks out there, Rona is not welcome up in my house. So, you're gonna go ahead and put that right next to the look. See if I got a good match. Oh, perfect, y'all. Y'all see that? And I wasn't sure if it was gonna match or not. This is how I like to do my lip lines. I like to get a shade or two darker than the actual color. This is gonna be so bomb when I put it on. Besides Target, I actually did order some stuff. I don't know y'all familiar with CameraReadyCosmetics.com. They've been around for years. When Ben Nye Banana Power was in style, I would order my powders from that website. So y'all know this is a very throwback powder for me. I was using this so long ago, like 10 years ago. And you know what? I like going back to my basics. I try all this new stuff, but sometimes I just remember like old products and I just like to go back to it. So I ordered me one of this. This is Camel. And this is really, really good for under eye. This is before the Huda Beauty and all this stuff. This was the GOAT. So after my fiasco with that Julius Place powder, I was so happy that I ended up ordering this. There you go. Ooh. And that undertone is like perfect for my skin. So this is used to be my go-to setting part of y'all from years ago and I still love it. I also got this Final Seal Setting Spray from Ben Nye as well. I heard a lot of good things about this. However, Ben Nye products is for theater makeup 
and people who perform in like movies and stuff like that. So some of their stuff is very harsh on my skin. So I'm going to try this out to see how I like it. But I'm trying to prepare myself for the summer and this weather. And they swear to God, this little spray right here could keep on anything on your face. So real quick, I'm gonna spray it and just see if I have any reaction to it. God, what's up with everything smelling like medicine? Very much so mouthwash. I like the fact that it feels light on my face. I feel like I just brushed my teeth. I feel like I should spray this in my mouth. Maybe not. Firm it up my, my face a little bit. Okay, Ben now nah, I'ma see, I'ma see what they talking about. It's a matte setting spray, so we gonna see if it works for this oily stuff. Before I go, I want to show you guys this foundation and how it just looks on my, I just feel like I'ma love this elf, like seriously. I rub it in, look at that. Look at that, it is so freaking pretty. I'm so excited about this foundation. Look how it melted in my skin. So you can see Coco. I think Coco, I don't know, maybe Coco really oxidized to my skin. So I thought it was nutmeg. But it seemed like Coco really oxidized into my skin. So this is Coco, this is nutmeg. So I'm gonna use nutmeg on the outside and Coco in the middle. I don't know, this is gonna be so interesting to see. I feel like I'm both colors. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the actual makeup tutorial. I'll make sure I'll put a box somewhere on this screen so that you can click it and just get directed to it. If you're trying any of these products, let me know how you like them. Leave me a comment, share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell because a lot of you guys have been saying, hey, I don't know how I gotta subscribe to your channel. Well, girl, I've been gone for three years so they probably just kicked you off a page. I know I ain't kicking you off, girl. I want y'all to stay. But if you feel like you have not subscribed to me or you don't know if you subscribe or not, just check by clicking the bell and clicking subscribe and then you'll be subscribed to see my other videos. So yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed my haul video. I will be coming back with a tutorial on using these products. Sorry y'all, y'all know my camera bootleg and it died. However, thanks so much for watching my videos. I love y'all so much. Make sure y'all subscribe and click that bell to be notified because I know a lot of you guys got unsubscribed. Well, I'm back y'all and I will see y'all next time. Take care, stay safe.